Hello and welcome to a very quick tutorial how to set up auto split by two full with Metal Gear. All the files that you need are in the video description and on the Metal Gear Speedrunners Discord. You can use this guide also to make video segments for your own game, so maybe it's still interesting even if you don't play Metal Gear. Sometimes there are games that are just not nice to be emulated or games that are just natively played often on consoles and hence cannot be read out in the memory. Auto splitters usually, if they run on PC, have access to the memory and from there can read out in which room you are, for example, to split in live split. With auto split, we can actually compare the video feed coming in and see then, based on the video content, if we should split or not. So let's go through the basics here. In the top left, there's the tool. We're going to select the window first. So we have a base to select. After that, you click the emulator window that I use right now. You can see in the capture region that all of the game is being captured. Now, select the folder where your images are under browse. For that, I prepared three distinct versions of splits. Let's start with the very first one, which is just a single split, the start and end. Go to the images folder, select folder, and then reload the start image. Now we see here in the time of global hotkeys, nothing has been set. If you go to file and load settings, you will find that in a single split, there's also a settings.pki file. That is the settings that I used. Important is here that the hotkeys are the ones that you also use in your live split. So if we go to setting and compare here what the numpad keys are, they should match the one that you have here. So start split, for example, here is numpad three for me and so on. Auto split is a tool that works basically like a remote. It compares the incoming capture feed and compares against an image that it sets so it knows when to press the hotkey for you on the keyboard. It will literally press a digital keyboard for you. That controls then a line split itself and lets it auto split for you. My settings right now are for 99% accuracy. So sometimes it can be that you need to lower it or to make it higher. We're going into more details later how the images are set up. Let's have a very quick look at the pictures actually that we're working with here. In the single split folder, there are only two pictures. We start on a black screen right after we press the difficulty selection, easy or original, depending on if you're running Big Boss or any percent in this game. Black screens usually are not advised, but we are only using this black screen to start the live split. For the final split, we actually use this image here, which has very clearly the countdown shown and Snake running in the middle. In my testing so far, it worked actually for the emulator feed. There's more testing needed if this will also work if we're capturing, for example, game footage from a console. With that setup, if I now go to game start and easy, after I reloaded the start image, we should see that everything works. I think now, yeah, it just needed to select the window once more because I lost the focus of it. Fair enough. If we reload the start image, it shows us the image where it will know, okay, this is where I need to start live split. After that, it will go through all the other pictures where it will set a new split. Since we are running only from start to finish a single split, I made a live split file here where it's only saying the RTA split. It starts on the black screen and ends when we're at the end. As you can see, I didn't press anything, but to confirm the start of the game, and there we go. This is Metal Gear MSX. Now in auto split, you can see that the image moved on and the current split image is now the final scene with the countdown. So we can carelessly walk through here and move on. This is only one of the three versions. And because it takes the longest here, around 20 minutes until the run is finished, I'm going to switch over to the different version. So if you want to reset, Quit the game first, in this example at least. Get ready for another run and then press the hotkey for reset. In my case, it's numpad 5. 
you will see that it actually reverts back to the start image and last but also has reset. Now, if I press circle again on my gamepad to confirm another run, it should automatically split again. And that's how easy it is to start and reset. The cool thing about a single split is that it matches both the any percent and the big boss route. Both of these categories, of course, start on the same screen and end on the same screen. If you want to be a little bit more in detail with our splits, you can switch over to the other two versions that I prepared. For that, I'm going to change here to my um, major splits, for example, and go into the image folder here. I'm going to show you the image in just a second. I'm going to also load the settings for major splits. Select the window once again, so it actually gets captured, and reload the start image. Start image is being shown as ready underneath the capture region. Now we just need to change actually live split, and I prepared something here, where I have the major splits already selected. These are also included in the folder downloads. Now, you may not see it, but here are actually a few more splits. The layout currently only shows one. So let's quickly edit the layout, go to subsplits, and add a few, as much as we have space. There we go. Now we are ready, and we should see for the most major splits that I did for this one here. What you need to remember is if a segment ends, that's the next image that you would see, the point where you should split. So let's have a look at the split images quickly. As you can see here, we have 20 split images. Technically 21. The first one where we start the splitter is the black screen right after we selected the difficulty. After that, we always have visual components that show us when to next split. So the first floor ends when we enter the elevator. The next floor ends when we enter the elevator. Another one is in this example when we get captured. And it's only really important that it matches precisely what we're seeing. You can, in theory, use the same screen, like the full image, but sometimes, you know, for example, your menus are not the same. You don't have the same weapon equipped, or even your health meter is not the same. That's why all these files are prepared specifically so these artifacts don't matter, and they only split when it should actually split. And once again, when we go here, I'm going to go through the run a little bit and we see until we meet the first split. Check again that the start image is ready, as is shown in auto split, and then hit the start. For demonstrations purposes, I will not do the actual run, but just show that it actually splits as soon as we enter the elevator. And there we go. Now, auto split is waiting for the next elevator, based also on a different color. And as you can see, there's white spots in the current split image. If there is a blank spot in the PNG file that we provide with auto split, it will actually ignore these areas and only compare the ones where it can actually find pixels. Again, if you have a console game where maybe the image clarity isn't as high, you maybe want to lower the threshold and experiment with that. For emulator, where I directly took the screenshots with auto split, it should match fairly evenly the actual capture region and the current split image. Let's switch one last time to the full room splits, which are a lot, and then you're basically done. All right, there we go. Reload the start image. Start image is ready. Let's take one quick look here at the splits. As you can see here, we have many, many more. Each of the sub splits start with a minus, and then the major splits are preceded here with either no name or, for example, like this in the swivel brackets. 
And there's quite a few of them because there's many rooms in this game. So I actually made over 150 pictures here. So again, this should be everything you need to do. So after you reload the start image and the start image is ready, you can just select this difficulty and it should move on. As you can see, every time we change the rooms, live split will, or auto split will actually pause for a second. You can lower this value, but sometimes it's uh, important that you don't double split if, for example, you use the same split image uh, for events. An example that has been used was Super Mario 64, where you would have, for example, picked a star and always have the same element on screen and use that as your split points. So naturally, you want to increase, for example, the delay before you split again. In this case, though, all these images are prepared to basically be always be one-to-one. -one. And especially with the room setup, sometimes it can be that you leave a room before even that one second has passed. I tested it around a little bit. It should work as is. So yeah, let me know in the comments or, of course, on the MGSR Discord if this tool works for you or if you made your own for your game. Love to hear your feedback and of course, I'll see you soon.